I get into an argument with a man. I slap him. They tell me I have no respect, no home training. I should apologize to him. I get into an argument with a man. He slaps me. I feel pain. Yet they tell me I provoked him. I should have been quiet. I should have been patient. I should apologize to him. Because I am a woman, I don't have a right to be angry. So the degree of my innocence is directly proportional to the degree of my silence in the face of oppression and brutality. Because I am a woman, my husband cheats on me. I'm told to tolerate to save my marriage. The barbaric and stupid excuse is that it is in their nature to cheat. I must slim down, dress better, cook better, pray harder, and be more pleasant to him. I cheat. I am called a whore. I have committed an abomination. I have no rights to look elsewhere for the love and emotional support I lack at home. I am an irresponsible mother. So I am sent packing from the home we both built with all my earthly possession stuffed into a tiny box on my head. I am henceforth forbidden from seeing my two older children. I am lucky to be allowed to go with my little one still suckling on my left breast. Three years later, the little one is tagged a bastard. Now, my new name is After Tree because I am a woman. He's 28 and runs a company. He's tagged wonderful, hardworking, focused, career-oriented, successful at a very young age. I am 28 and I run the company. Hmm, she is not even married. Unserious, cannot order her priorities right. A hustler, loves money, let her go and get a husband. Oh, and I wonder if being successful has anything to do with a person's gender. Because I'm a woman, I'm not allowed to have wits or be a prodigy. I cannot be financially buoyant, professionally successful, or be treated with respect without a man beside me? Then I am Tab, a generous leg opener, a runs girl. They never see the possibility that I actually had to go through ups and downs to get where I am because I am a woman. A man loses his wife to death and remarried a year after. He did the right thing. He's been praised and congratulated for moving on. After all, life is for living. A woman loses her husband to death and remarries after four years. Uh-huh. So early? Are you sure she wasn't sleeping with that man when her husband was alive? And that's why she killed him? She's a witch because she's a woman. Because I am a woman, this poem will be considered controversial and everyone will try to correct me. But don't forget that I am a woman and it doesn't make me less human. Who is a woman? When she is quiet, millions of things are running through her mind. When she stares at you, she is wondering why she loves you so much, even though you take her for granted. When she says she will stand by you, she will stand by you like a solid rock. Never hurt her or take her for granted. A very heart touching message by a woman. Someone ask her, are you a working woman or a housewife? She replied, yes, I am a full time working housewife. I work 24 hours a day. I am a grandmother. I am a mom. I am a wife. I am a daughter, I am a sister, I am a daughter-in-law, I am an alarm clock, I am a cook, I am a maid, I am a teacher, I am a waitress, I am a nanny. I am a nurse, I am a handwoman, 
I'm a security officer. I'm a police officer. I'm a counselor. I'm a comforter. Don't get holidays. I don't get sick leave. I don't get day off. I work through day and night. I'm on call 24 hours, seven days a week. And I get paid with this question. What do you do all day? I am standing up, finding my voice in the crowd. I am nobody's but my own. Words I've learned to scream out loud. I will break the chains of discrimination that burn and tie me down. I am a woman, reborn from the ashes. I am claiming my ground. Despite all the negative criticism and cynicism, we remain focused, steadfast, committed, and strong as the joy of the Lord is our strength. While there is so much noises and chatter in the market, we are right here checking our change. Guess why? Your opinion of us is none of our business. Women, Let's choose to challenge and use the storm of life to rise to greater heights.